In this movie, we're going to take a look at how we can animate the ball while using the channel box. We'll also take a look at how we can control the animation while using the time slider and the graph editor. So the ball has been selected. The total number of frames I have is 60, and I'm at frame 1 right now. Now with the ball selected, I'm simply going to go to Translate X and Translate Y, highlight them. And in the channel box, I'm just going to right-click, Key Selected. You can see that a keyframe was added over here, and also these are color-coded, which suggests that they have keyframes. I'll go to frame 30 right now, and I'll simply move these, move the ball over here, in front and up, and then simply select these two, right-click, Key Selected. And you can see there's another keyframe. So this is a great way of animating if you want to only animate certain channels. I'll go back to frame 60 and move the ball forward and down over here. And then with these two selected, right-click, Key Selected. So at this time, I have a very simple animation. I'm going to go back to frame 1, and right now I'm going to highlight Rotate Z. Although I could have done this all together, I'm just doing it separately. Right-click, Key Selected. Go to frame 30. I'm going to type in a value of, let's say, 300. And then with the Rotate Z selected, right-click, Key Selected. And you can see the ball's rotating. And at frame 60, I'm going to rotate this to around 8, 850. And right-click, Key Selected. So if I play this right now, you can see that the ball not only goes in translate X and Y, but also rotates in Z. There's a nice way to control animation from the type slider. I can simply hold down Shift and drag a selection around all these keyframes. So while holding down Shift, I'm just dragging a selection. You can see that the entire thing is highlighted in red. And you also see these two arrows over here. I'm going to simply select those two arrows and slide them over here. There's another arrow over here. And I'm going to just take this arrow and put it down. And now I'm going to take this one, the middle arrows, the middle two arrows, and slide them. I can also select outside the keyframes, so right from here to here. And you can clearly see the arrow over here. So the middle one pretty much allows me to slide my animation. And the first and the last arrows are great in a way that I can select just the last keyframe right now and just move it. And select just, hold down shift and select just the middle keyframe and move it over here. So right now, you can see that if I play this animation, the sphere or the ball over here starts really fast and then goes really slow because it has so much time distance it has to travel. It has this much time from frame right over here. It's at frame 12 and then right over here it's at frame 56. Another way you can control animation is by going to the graph editor which is perhaps the best way to control animation. So you can go to window animation editors and go to the graph editor. The horizontal axis is the time and the vertical axis is the value. You can see that the ball has been selected over here and it's only showing me channels that are being keyframed and they're all highlighted in the particular axis. So X is the red axis, Y is the green axis and Z is the blue axis, the so translate X, Y, Z. If I select the translate Y and hit A, it nicely frames this. These are pretty much my keyframes, the little dots over here. So if I select this right now, it's telling me this one's at frame 5 and the value is at 0. This one over here is at not the exact, that's not exactly at 12. So let's move this to 12. And that happens sometimes in Maya. And you can select this one and that's at not exactly at 56. So I'll move it to 56. Now I can also move my time from here. So I can select these three guys by holding down shift. And let's do A. And I can select this last keyframe, and I'm holding down Shift. And you can see that when I hold down Shift and go here, you got to be on your Move tool right here. And you see it gives me a question mark because it's going to track my mouse in which direction I'm going. So I'm just going to go right here, and you can see now it's a horizontal arrow. If I had gone here, you can see it goes to a vertical arrow. But you definitely want to hold down Shift because if you don't, you might just move them anywhere, kind of somewhere in between, and you don't want to do that. So right now I'm just going to hold on shift, wait for a second, and then move right here. And so right now these guys are at frame 30.